Hi, I just want to talk about the power of the pen. Um, it's a short video. Uh, I'm just going to share my Parker pens with you. Um, each one of these pens is significant for different reasons. Um, they're all what I call free pens or rewards where I've made the money elsewhere, um, not out my mainstream income, and they're at the end of contracts, so they're like a gift to myself, but they're things I use every day. And as you see, I do look after them. They've got their own little pouch and everything. Um, but I love my pens. It's a, I mean, it's not a big, expensive thing, although there is one pen I'm after at the moment. It's £450. But I'm not going to rush out and buy it unless I've actually made that money somewhere else. So the point being is that you can reward yourself while saving money. And the other thing with these pens are when you think about how much you spend on cheap pens, like the little Bix in the pound shop pack of 10 or whatever, they're crap pens. Um, you know, they leak. You get through them like no tomorrow. I bet if you bought 10 pens today, would you know where all 10 were at the end of this month? I don't think so. Um, the fact is, because of a disposable society we live in, people think it's a better deal. It's not. Um, and it's one of these pens, it's my favorite pen at the moment, it's a gunmetal one. Um, they set off the alarms at a bank recently. Um, I couldn't go through it. No alarm. I know the alarm's going. It wasn't like uh, our, um, guards running everywhere, basically. It's a double sliding door on the bank. I couldn't go into the bank until I put the pen in the locker. Um, but the fact was, this pen has probably cost you a lot less than all those cheap pens you bought. And you don't really notice where those pounds go, the 80 pences or whatever. Because by this pen, I can't remember which it was, it's somewhere between 14 and 25 pounds. Sounds a lot for a pen. Um, but the fact is, your cheap biros, your cheap bics, your cheap whatever they are, you lose them. People take them off your desk. They, uh, they leak. There's, they've got no value. Nobody sees them as important. They're just like, oh, that's throwaway. That's like, take take some money out of your pocket, just throw it on the floor, and let somebody else pick it up. Because all that is how you start working towards financial freedom by moving away from that mentality. We're sold it everywhere. We're constantly importing Chinese junk, and I say junk because a lot of it is. I mean, when I the um, since being in uh, Spain, I bought a 32 inch TV. I had to take it back to the supermarket. I bought my wife a uh, what was it? It was a kitchen appliance. I think it was a blender. It didn't work. I had to go and change it because this stuff substandard when it comes out of Asia. Um, things are changing in a negative way, but I'm all for supporting good products. Um, because a lot of the older stuff is more reliable than the new. They're building in defects to new, new technology. Um, it's like where you see printers. How many printers do you get through? Yet, yeah, if you actually search online, there's probably a hack to actually fix the fault that's on your printer because they're designed to be faulty. You know, like when you've got an inkjet, when it goes across and then it dips the ink, it's filling up a well full of ink that eventually breaks your printer. But you can actually empty it out, clean out that well, and the printer's fine again. It's been designed to be faulty. Because they've all put time spent. They want you to change your printer every two years. They want to change every five years. They want you to have a new TV. They want you to have a new car. They want everything to be constantly changed. But the problem is, is things like this. This little pen will last me at least 25 years. Because it's reliable. It's good quality. And that's how a lot of rich people are. They don't buy junk. They avoid it. You'll see their houses are generally uncluttered. You'll see that they... Um, don't buy the latest phone. They don't have lots and lots of gadgets. I mean, my phone's not even on my desk. But I was saying to my wife the other day, I wanted a new phone, but I couldn't actually justify it to myself in the phone shop. So I walked away and left it. Because when I go, all right, here's my phone I've got now. What does this new one do that this one doesn't? Answer is nothing. So that just saved me £400 on a phone. And people need to change their attitudes. They need to realise... Instead of spending 400 quid on a phone, go down and pay it 400 quid on your credit card. Get rid of the debt. Get rid of your debt and you'll be surprised how much money you've got in your bank. Um, but the point being with this is, 
because I went on a little rant there. The power of the pen is the fact is if you start buying cheap pens, just buy one good one, you'll find that you less than a people won't take it off your desk because they can see it's actually personal. It's not just a blue viral. They'll know that's your pen because you're the only person with it. Um, and you know if they picked it up that they've taken your pen. So they generally won't touch it. So you'll keep that pen a lot longer. And I've never lost a Parker pen. I've never had a Parker pen stolen. Um, I've never had a problem writing with one. But the one thing I have got is nice pens. And over a period of time, all these pens will actually be free. Um, they're already free because I made the extra money uh, to justify the payments. I, I found other ways to make cash. Um, so they all are free in that sense. But what I'm saying is I haven't bought any cheap pens. Um, and if you weigh up how much pen, how many pens you buy over a period of time, uh, you'll probably find out that these are a much cheaper alternative than buying the junk. All right, thanks for watching.